In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to set up a Google Tag Manager on your Shopify store. Uh, the first thing that we need to do is to go to tagmanager.google.com. Here you need to create a new account and name your account. For the container setup, we need to paste your store URL. The target platform should be web. Then we need to click create and accept GTM terms of service and the data processing agreement. You see a pop-up that immediately shows to copy the code below and paste into every page of your website. Let's copy the first piece of code and go to your shop's backend. Click online store theme and then Click on three dots, edit code. We need to select theme liquid file and then paste our code right beneath the meta tags. Let's jump back into GTM and copy the second part of code. Go back to theme liquid file and paste code right below the opening body tag. We need to scroll down and paste our code and make sure to save the file. If you have a Shopify Plus store, then you also need to paste a GTM codes into checkout.liquid file. The next place that we need to place our code is settings, checkout, scroll down, order status page, additional scripts to track our purchase data. So I paste GTM code here as well and make sure to save this file. Now we can check if uh, GTM is firing correctly on our pages by going to Tag Manager and pressing Submit button. A version name can be initialization and press Publish. To check if the tag is firing, we can install the Tag Assistant extension for Google Chrome. Here I can search for Tag Assistant extension. Go to Tag Assistant Legacy. I already installed this extension, that's why I only see remove from Chrome uh, button. After installing Tag Assistant extension, I press enable, refresh the page and you can see that Google Tag Manager is successfully installed and firing correctly. If you like this video, press the thumbs up button and subscribe to my YouTube channel for watching more videos about e-commerce analytics. And if you need help with web tracking or reporting for your Shopify brand, then check the links in the description below.